Hey, techers, trekkers, and geeks, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. And what's going on today? Well, today we're going to be bringing you the top news stories of the week. And today's video is made possible by Squarespace. So thank you very much, Squarespace. So with that said, let's actually jump in and start talking about the news. Now, first off, I have an announcement. You guys are all totally into the AMD 290X. You guys know the reference model's been out. But starting next week, a lot of cards are going to start hitting the U.S. market. They've already hit the European market. Market, but now they're going to hit the U.S. market, and I'm going to be able to get my hands on a few of them next week to bring you guys for review. So, our first story of the week. Last year, there were a shatungum amount of games that came out. You guys know it. Kevin covered a bunch of them. Everybody's covered them. Well, Amazon has their top 10 picks. Now, they also have a runner-up, and they also have a winner picked by you, the audience. Now, I think they base this off of whatever games sold the most through the year. So as Amazon, you know, these guys sell lots and lots of games. They took those games, made up a list, but they also have a runner-up and a people's choice. So if you guys want to check that article out and actually go and check it out and see what's up, check out the link down below the description. We will have that information for you. Now, next up on the news, DRAM has gone up just crazy. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there was a fire in China last year and it damaged one of the plants that makes the Hynix wafers. Now, since then, memory prices have freaking skyrocketed. And now there seems to be a rumor that because of low production, prices in 2014 are still going to be buku bucks. Now, I want your guys' interaction on this article. I personally think this is just complete, total bullshit. Price gouging at its absolute worst. Oh, gee, I stubbed my toe, so you got to buy me a new pair of shoes. Just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. One fire, even though this company does make about 10% of the memory, think about it, 10%. So a 10% part of the memory is actually making the prices go up to almost double of what they were a few years ago. Just look at it carefully, and you guys will agree with me. This is nothing but bullshit and price gouging by those people. Memory prices shouldn't be that high. And let's just face it, 10% of the market, what about the other fracking 90%, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, so last up in today's news, you guys all know the new Mac has come out. It was a late 2013 Mac, looked like a trash can. We made a funny video about it. Well, now some cat actor has taken this a step further. That's right. This dude has went out, got himself a real trash can. That's right. He got himself a real trash can and made himself a Hackintosh computer out of it. So he actually has a real trash can Mac. That's right. One thing to note though, this guy's Mac Pro is a lot lower in specs than obviously the new one that came out in late 2013. The late 2013 Mac Pro is just decked out, small, and it's actually just unbelievable for what it is as far as design-wise goes. This guy had no access to those type of parts. So this is pretty much a bow to him saying, hey, cool design Mac, I'm going with it. Now, before I jump out of here, just want to once again thank Squarespace for making this video possible. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Squarespace, but these guys have like almost like an instant way to bring you a website up and going. Now, our music website, Music, that website we made completely using Squarespace. Squarespace has over 20 templates to choose from, drag and drop functionality, and is optimized to look good automatically, whether you're viewing on a smartphone, computer, or tablet. If you run into any issues along the way, you can take advantage of their 24 hour a day, seven days a week tech support team based out of New York City. Pricing starts at just $8 a month with a free domain if you sign up for a year. And to make things even sweeter for you, our lovely Tech of Tomorrow fans can receive 10% off along with a free trial coupon signing up by using our discount code TOT1 at the checkout. All right, folks, so with that said, if you're someone out there, you don't want to invest a whole lot of money, but you still want to have a fully functioning website, you definitely want to check this deal out. TOT1 at the checkout counter gets you free stuff, so make sure you do it and check it out. I'm Elric. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech goodness.